The objective of ski racing, like most other racing sports, is to finish the course as fast as possible. In order to do this, it means both working with and fighting against physics to achieve the fastest velocity, which will allow the skier to reach the finish in the shortest amount of time. When the skier is at the start of the race course, she has gravitational potential energy. Once the skier begins to move, her gravitational potential energy decreases as her kinetic energy increases. Along with this, as the skis are carved, they bend, which causes elastic potential energy. Once the turn is released, the ski acts as a spring, allowing the skier to move quickly into the next turn. As the skier is moving down the course, she is assisted by her mass and gravitational acceleration to help increase her velocity. Along with this, she is able to make turns due to centripetal force. As her velocity is heading down the hill and around the turn, the acceleration towards the center of the arc is allowing her to carve her turns with minimal speed loss. However, as the velocity increases, it is more difficult to resist the centripetal force of the turn. By doubling the velocity, the force is quadrupled and the skier must be strong enough to hold herself up. If she is not strong enough, she will fall. The force of friction in the snow causes resistance, making it more difficult to increase her velocity. In order to lessen the force of friction, the skier will carve her turns rather than slide them and try to increase the angulation of the skis during the turn. This will lessen the force of friction because having more angulation of the skis will allow less surface area of the ski to come in contact with the snow. The skier will also use different waxes that are designed to best diminish the force of friction based on different temperatures and level of moisture in the snow. Along with friction, the skier is also experiencing resistance from the air. To try and diminish this, the skier wears a speed suit, which is a tight, form-fitting bodysuit that is designed to minimize air resistance, which can be seen in the video. The skier may also go into a tuck while racing, allowing her body to have as little surface area as possible come into contact with the air. Skiers don't always ski in a tuck because it can be difficult to carve turns while in a tuck due to the counterbalancing that is required to achieve angulation. Without this counterbalancing, the skier will fall or will be required to slide her turns in order to stay upright, causing her to lose speed. When watching a slalom skier, it's easier to see the centripetal forces in play. It's also easier to see how the skier is trying to change her direction of momentum as fast as possible in order to stay ahead of the course and continue to increase her velocity. Here it can be seen how she counterbalances herself in order to put her skis on edge and still stay upright, fighting against the force of gravity. As seen in this freeze frame, the skier's skis bend in the turn using elastic potential energy. However, as the ski releases, she is unable to account for the amount of energy stored in the ski, so she falls.